Hello and welcome to this demonstration of a little web application that I put together. I call it Toshimote and it is a remote control for my television which is hooked up to an about a five or six year old Toshiba, I think it's a M55 S325. Um, currently it's running Ubuntu 1010, um, Maverick Meerkat I believe, and uh, I use it as a media server hooked up to the big screen. And uh, what I wanted to do is show you a little demonstration of the remote that I put together. Um, I used to use VNC to do screen sharing. However, that got really annoying when all I wanted to do was pause a movie um, or play a movie, whatever. Um, so I wanted to try something a little different. I played around with command line uh, uh, execution commands, whatever, and that worked all right. It was better than having to start up a VNC, but it wasn't as simple as what I would have liked it to be for um, everyone that needed to use the uh, television and uh, we need to open movies. So I wrote this little web application. Um, it's just on an Apache server on the Ubuntu, and I'll open it up for you. Uh, it's, it's a website hosted on the box behind the television, and uh, just have a quick link to it. Um, and as you can see, there's a bunch of different commands, and here's a quick demo. So on the Ubuntu laptop, uh, the screen you can see, it's just a blank desktop. So first off, if I wanted to go see my home screen, all I have to do is just click the home button. And after a brief delay, the home uh, directory pops up. I can navigate through uh, using directional keys here. Um, simple as that. Uh, so since this is a media server, let me show you some videos real quick. So here's a couple videos. Just navigate to a video that I want to watch. So we'll open it up. And being on the television, I would love to watch this full screen. So there's a few more buttons down here. Um, nice thing about the iPhone is with the web page, I could put as many buttons as I want on this remote control. Um, just has to go further and further down. It does get a little... Uh, uh, convoluted I guess that's why I added the colors um, but anyway back to the video I want to watch this full screen so just click the full screen button and simple as that pops up to full screen um, if I want to pause the video I need to go get something to drink click the pause button and after a brief delay since the box is so old, sometimes when it's playing videos, it uh, doesn't like to handle other commands very quickly, but you can see it paused. So now that the video is not playing, um, we'll press play and it'll play again pretty quickly. But uh, So when you're done watching your video, just click the close window and uh, close the window. And so if you wanted to open up another application, this is good for more than just uh, watching movies. You can uh, click the menu button, which will open up the Ubuntu menu and you can browse through the different categories. We'll go ahead and open up text editor. Here we go. And what I want to do is now type. Um, this is pretty good for things like if you're on the internet, you need to type in a web address. Uh, you can just type in whatever. So say we were online and we wanted to watch some movies. We could just send it, and it types it right there on the screen. So that, of course, if we were online, that would just be uh, through the, the, the um, address bar. Um, and now that we have that, uh, also when you're online, you may not be able to use your directional keys as well. So incorporated mouse movements uh, right here in the middle, you can see uh, it, it's a little different than the rest of the remote. It requires two events. You have to click to make the mouse start moving, and then you click again to uh, stop the mouse. So we can just go mouse left and stop it. And we can go mouse right, stop. It can be a little difficult to uh, get a precise movement, but let me just try and click the X of the button up here. Uh, it just takes a little practice. We might be on the right track. And right there, I think I got it. And so I click the left mouse button and save without and all that. Good. So um, some other things. Um, there's other buttons, uh, like the escape button. So, oh, whoops, I didn't mean to do that. But just click escape and it brings it back. Um, 
You can max the window. You can make the window normal size. You can change windows. You have the two different windows here. Um, so we want to select our text editor and you can minimize the window. Every, basically uh, normal movements and then whatever I want to add I have space to add down here. Um, that's really about it. If you have any other questions about it or want to hear more technical details about how I put this all together, head over to my website www.pwlk.net and there's a link to apps on there and uh, I'll put a little write-up of my app uh, of the Toshimote um, under there. So that's about it. Uh, thanks for watching.